chicken bedtime is really early. From chickens to hamsters, from rabbits to sheep, sooner or later we all need to sleep. As five o'clock chickens get ready for bed, at five o'clock chickens get ready for bed, each spotted white hen, each and each Rhode Island red. The chicks take their baths, chicken mom standing near to make sure they wash behind each chicken ear. Do chickens have ears? Hmm. Now fluffy and dry, the chicks bounce into bed. The moms cluck goodnight and give pecks on the head. So when it's six, when it is six, every chick boy and girly is snug in the coop. Chicken bedtime is early. At seven, it's time for the cows and the sheep to call their young into the barn for some sleep. The lambs and the calves are all running and playing, not listening to what their mamas are saying. One minute, the barn door is swung open wide. Next minute, it's closed with the mamas inside. The lambs call, bah, wait. The calves call, mom, moo. The farmer, he laughs and invites them in too. At eight, it's time for the bunnies to stop. They're chewing and chomping and hop, 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 hop. It's time for each one of the bun dads and mummies to put their young rabbits in footy pajamas. Uh huh. Little rabbit outfit. Then into the rabbit hole, into the pile. Who kicked me? says one with a mischievous smile. A story, a story, the young bunnies roar. And just as it ends, all the bunnies beg more. Although they've heard them 18 times before. At nine o'clock, fishes are ending their day. Each eel, every minnow, each snapper and ray. Those that have teeth, well, they give them a brush. Those that do not, well, they gargle and such. Then some of the little fish sons and fish daughters ask, why can't I have just one glass of water? Well, they kind of live in water, anyway. The fish dads are stern. No more carping, I said. You've got school in the morning. Come on, off to bed. <laughs> Get it, school of fish. <laughs> At 10, it is time for the frogs to take five and rest from the concert that they perform live. The croaking and singing of songs so inspired results in a pond full of frogs who are tired. So frog moms and pops get the tadpoles all fed and settle them into their lily pad beds. Then in a soft shimmering light of the moon, an old bullfrog belts out the lazy, the last froggy tune. Eleven's the time when the hamsters take rest. At 12, they're back up at their hamstery best. Refreshed from their nap, all hamster wheel, all the hamsters now feel like taking a brisk midnight jog on the wheel. Now one o'clock isn't a bedtime, you see, nor for that matter is two or is three. At those times, most creatures are fast, fast asleep, except for the hamsters, what hours they keep. At four in the morning, the rooster, he rises, does push-ups and curl-ups with weights of all sizes. He climbs on the fence post and crows at the sun, announcing to all that the day has begun. The chicks all get up at the break of the dawn. They wake up their mothers who grumble and yawn. The cows will soon get up and call morning moo. The bunnies will wake up and hop to it too. 
later, sheep, frogs, fishes. And you, wait, who's asleep now? You'll never guess who.